What's up everybody? It is Doug from Trigger King. I'm here today with the Traxxas TRX4 High Trail Edition. This one looks a little bit different than uh, how it comes in the box, you might notice. We'll talk about that. But a uh, big shout out to Remote Control Hobbies in Orlando, Florida. Uh, picked this up from them. They were awesome with shipping. Great, great hobby shop. So, now whenever this particular TRX4 was announced, I knew I had to have it because it had a combination of things that I really wanted. I wanted the Traxxas Lift Kit, which is pre-installed on this one. The awesome, uh, you know, American iron here, this uh, Chevy square body, which looks beautiful. And it had a little bit longer of a wheelbase than a standard TRX4, some of the previous releases of it. And all those things combined, I knew it would make for an excellent candidate for what I wanted to do. Um, a truck for these J Concepts 2.2 Ranger tires and the Midwest wheels. I wanted a monster style trail truck. So if you want a standard overview of the TRX4, um, there's plenty of better places to get those, some awesome videos, especially on this one. I wanna talk about what this truck is like on these wheels and tires, monster truck style. Now note on these wheels and tires, if you wanna mount them, they mount up just fine. You don't have to do anything. You can mess with the offset too, to see how far you want out. Um, because these axles, they turn, uh, you know, the front, the steer on these things, there's a lot of throw on it. Uh, there is going to be rubbing, especially when you articulate, you know, this is a heavily articulating a suspension on this one not a huge deal for me i did trim the body up just a little bit up here on the uh, fenders i tried to trim it to the chrome you could take more off but i wanted to leave that chrome trim on the ranger tires are a tribute to the legendary goodyear 48 inch tires that many monster trucks sported back in the day probably most notably the bigfoot ranger which was miss bigfoot before that the name on these tires are a tribute to that famous truck you can see here a replica of the bigfoot ranger sporting these ranger tires uh, that were built by my friend Adam Rogers. He showed these builds off at Bigfoot Open House of this year. Speaking of Open House, that's where we shot some of this running video here, the TRX4. You can see here that the high trail is sitting on High Roller 2, which is actually sporting a full-size set of the aforementioned 48-inch tires. So at Open House, High Roller and several other old-school monster trucks were crushing cars, so we thought it would be fun to take the TRX4 high trail on some crushed cars on those reproduction 48s. Let's see how it did. Now look, hitting full-size crust cars with an RC monster truck isn't the most practical thing to do, but it's a heck of a lot of fun. The, uh, the tires here, even the blue compound, which we use these Rangers in, um, it was a little tricky gripping on the cars because they were covered in dust, very slippery, but it was still a blast. And I can say I ran over crushed cars with my high trail. I figured that's a nice little humble brag when out on the trail with my buddies. All right, now let's talk about the high trail out on the trail. So a couple years ago, I actually built a truck similar to this one out of a TRX4 Sport. And I think the high trail version is much better for this because what it does it has that longer wheelbase and that does really help when you got these bigger tires like that when you're climbing because it does have a high center of gravity with the tires in the lift kit. Of course, the lift kit is a big part of it. It has the factory Traxxas lift kit installed on it. It has a two-speed transmission versus the Sport, which has the uh, single speed, and the diffs are unlockable. Now here's the thing. If you're really using this as a crawler, like some of the other versions of the TRX4, I think the lock diffs are a bit of a gimmick. Here, they are not. Uh, the fact you can unlock them and lock them is very helpful when you're bombing around on the trail. Again, this truck was not set up, or its purpose is not for heavy rock crawling. Uh, it would bind and have way too much rubbing if you were doing that because of the big tires. I didn't want to trim very much out, so it had that, you know, that stock, I will I say stock, let's say early monster truck appearance. And with that, it's awesome being able to unlock those diffs to have better turning, you know, and handling ability. And a lot of time, actually, when trailing, you can leave the diffs unlocked because those big wheels and tires on it, they really grab hard and they provide a lot of traction. And of course, when you really want to go on some rough stuff or go through the mud, go up some hills, something like that, you put it in the locker and then you can really grab. I think that's where the two-speed really shines here. Uh, I wouldn't really find a need to have brushless in this thing, personally. I think the two-speed is a lot of fun for it. It's also fun to just be able to shift and have purpose to do it. 
you can really drop down into that low gear with the grunt with these wheels and tires and you can really go over some stuff or you can put it into high gear. High gear is a lot of fun when you have the open diffs. I love the high trail edition with the J Concepts Rangers. I think this platform was absolutely made for these wheels and tires. They're a great match. You wouldn't want to do any hardcore crawling with it uh, because you'd have a lot of binding going on there or you'd have to really do some hacking on some things you know, to make it to where it didn't bind. But if you want to kind of relive those early monster trucking glory days of the off-road parks, this is a fantastic platform for it. I love this version of the high trail. Thanks for watching.